Hey, Hillbillies, what's going on? This is going to be a quick lesson. I think five minutes. This is all it should take. We're going to work on these octaves today. So important that we know these octaves, just so we know where we we know where those like we're playing an A on all of this stuff on this course. So it's really important. Let's just learn the octaves on our A's. Okay. So the first string that we have that's an A is our second string. The second fret on the G string is an A. The fifth fret on the E string, the high E string, is an A. Obviously, the fifth fret on the low E string is an A. Okay? Then we do this thing we do. We go whole step, up, and then two strings down. Now, this is going to work on this string. It's going to work on this string. It's not going to work on the, on the starting on the G string. You're going to have to go a step and a half. Okay, so we got our A here. We got to go a step and a half and two strings down. And the same thing for the D and the G string. You got to go a step and a half. The E and the A string, you're good with the full step. Those will give you your octaves. On the next string, you got to go a step and a half, step and a half. And then you're done. You know, you're only going to get four of those on the, on the guitar neck. So you got the full step, the full step, the step and a half, the step and a half going up and down. Okay, so we got an A here. We got our A here, you know, our super important A, in our BB box, and our blues box. So that A comes from there, goes to there. Now when you get here, this is a step, this is kind of an advanced thing, but you got this A here. I'm a little out of tune, but those are two A's. Your 12 frets in A, and you know, your BB box A, your blues box A. Those are both A's. So that'll work if you're on your D and you want to figure that out. It, it kind of helps you out, you know what I'm saying? So there's an A, you know, and then here's our step and a half A. Full step A, step and a half A. And then you got your 12 fret stuff again. You know, there's your A, and there's your A, and there's an A. So, real quick, you know, like, you, the, these octaves, you know, the full step, two strings down. Full step and a half, two strings down. Those are your A's, you know, on the 12th fret's your A. So, just those are the two, I think those are the two major to take away, though, is the full step over, two strings down. And then the full step and a half over and two strings down. Because those little shapes will always give you, you know, your A's to find a any note. It doesn't have to be an A. You know, if I want to find a G, I can use the same thing, you know. It'll give you any note. So instead of learning every note on the fretboard, which is going to take way, way too much time, way too much time, we learn this little shape. And, you know, all this is a bar chord for this one. That's your bar chord, you know. So your basic bar chord, you know, is your, in your, your root A, your 5, your E, and then another A. That's your basic bar chord, you know. And if you get into dominant 7s and stuff, you got more stuff. But just to think about it, to find it, you know. And then here, like we did with the Reverend Box... There's your A and there's your A. So you learned that one already. That's the hard one. That's the one that a lot of people have a hard time with. You know, the step and a half and then the two strings down. So that one and that one. And then, you know, you have... That one's more advanced. Do you, you know, you probably already know the notes when you get there, but it's good to know that, you know, you can go... And again, that's that buddy guy thing. Like, I... Playing those octaves. And usually he does it, you know, like. And like I said, I have a problem with the two, so you're skipping those two strings. Ah, that's a little weird for me. But you might want to know that, though, if you're playing, you know, you're in. where that's at. So, real quick once again, you got the 
full step, two strings down, and then the step and a half of two strings down to find your octaves. And those work on everything. You know, this one works on the E and the A string, and this one works on the G and the B string. And you really can't find them any other way, you know, but that. So that's what I wanted to give you. It's a quick octave lesson. You know, I show you that picture. I'll show it. I'll leave it up here again for, you know, the end of the video just so you can take a look at it. But, you know, if you got to mark your A notes on the neck with like a, a, a little sticker or something, don't, you know what? Don't even hesitate to worry about it. It'll come off. You can clean it off when you change strings. You just scrub it off or whatever. But I need you to get in your head, you know, here's an A, 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 here's an A. There's not that many. You know, it's, it seems weird. You know, you got all these frets and you don't, you know, you don't have that. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, seven between 12 and 12 on six strings. So. You know, that, that does make sense. You only get one, you only get one <laughs> string, and you get one in the open A, and then you get that one on the 12th fret. So, yeah, you only get seven, and, you know, you get another uh, another group. Obviously, everything you learn on these 12 is the same on these 12. You just move it down. Okay? Octaves. Super important. Quick lesson. Hey, subscribe to my channel. Ring that bell. Leave me a comment. Say, hey, Reverend Hellbilly. I'll appreciate it, okay? All right, you guys. Let your guy go with you. Peace. Have a good day. Cheers.